Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell you how to calculate the uh, materials for a wall former. Okay, in this we will discuss like which all material will come and how to calculate in a simple steps. In for this video you have to watch like from starting. If you skip it and you watch the end part, then you won't understand what is going to happen. Okay, first we will see from this one. So I wrote some requirements here as you see. The secondary being spacing, valor spacing, and the tie rod spacing. How I got this figure? I had made a video to how to calculate this design video of the vertical form box. Okay, you have to go to read and you have to check how I got this spacings. Once I got spacing, what I will do is I will consider a five meter, like a ten meter wall. Okay, L shaped wall. The dimensions are like this: five meters, five meters, and uh, here you know three hundred mm thick wall. So the height of the wall I consider is two point four five. Okay, first what we have to do is we have to calculate the perimeter. This is a simple thing you know, five thousand into two, five thousand three hundred into two plus three hundred into two, you will arrive at the perimeter is twenty one point two meters. This perimeter plays major roles in calculation of the surface area everything. Okay, in this surface area, what is surface area? Somewhat the perimeter into height. So we know two point four five is my height. So the area will come like fifty one point nine four. Okay, first thing we will calculate in the wall is. Everything is can be calculated by plywood only. First, we'll calculate the plywood. Okay, in plywood calculation, first we'll understand which of the different types of plywood available in the market. So, what I will tell is, these are the five or six different types. What I know, so I mentioned here. So, it depends on you which um, type, uh, which different size of plywood you want to take. I will take two point four into one point two because my height is two point four five. So, uh, approximately, uh, it will. This 2.4 will fix for it, right? So I will take 2.4 into 1.2 meter square plywood. Okay. First, what you have to do is, you know, uh, the you understood the plywood and you know the perimeter. You have to know the plywood area. So the plywood area I am considering 2.4 into 1.2. So the plywood area will be 2.88 square meters. Okay. So uh, this how we will calculate the plywood area, plywood quantity. The plywood quantity is common basic sense that the wall surface area would be plywood area. So we calculate the surface area over here, which is fifty one point nine four. So we will divide that with the plywood area. Then we will get the number of plywoods. See here, I am getting eighteen point zero three numbers, but this is actual one. But we cannot say that only eighteen point zero three percent three zero three number will comes in. Why? Because the eighteen point zero three is a Exact number, but in the while doing it, the carpenter may some do mistakes. The wastage will go. So what I will consider is ten percent wastage. I will consider. I am assuming. Sometimes if your wall is big, your area is big, you might consider up to twenty percent. But my small wall, I will consider ten percent. Okay. So eighteen point zero three into ten percent, one point one. So I will get approximately twenty numbers. You might ask how I will get this error. This assume ten percent. I want accurate. So what I suggest is, if you want accurate, you have to draw it in AutoCAD. As per my knowledge, it's better to draw. How to draw? I will show you. Open the AutoCAD. You will get this. Like this is your wall. Then, so what I did is, I did this 5.3. I am showing this view, the front view of this here. Okay. So this view and this view will be same because the height and the uh, length are same. So. This is our standard panel, 2.4 into 1.2, 2.4 into 1.2. So what I did is I created the block of 2.4 into 1.2. I fixed it, okay? Same, which is a copy of this. I fixed it, but here 500 mm spacing will be less. If you see, the 500 mm spacing will be remaining, okay? Okay, this 500 mm width. So what I will do is I will take another panel of uh, uh, 2.4 into 1.2 plywood. I will cut this and I will place here. Okay, this is one main panel. If you see, this are one main panel. Okay, I will cut this. I will place here. I will cut this. I will place here. So here small portion of 50 mm will be available. I will get from here. You getting it? Yeah. So this arrangement is over. Again, same. We have to go through this this side, this side five meter, this side five meter. So again, same. I am putting, and here two hundred mm spacing will be less. So I cut the another plywood, the two hundred. I will place it here. Same. I will do it here. Okay. So we will calculate how much plywood I have used here. What you have to do is just select this and count. 
so as per my count it is coming 18 okay so 18 plywoods are properly required but this is the plywood case if you I told the wastages are there so we are considering 10% approximately 20 we are considering okay so this is about plywood we will go to the timber beam in timber beam you know that spacing of timber is 350 mm perimeter of the wall 21 to same all quantity means perimeter by spacing 0.35 I convert to meters okay 60.57 I will consider plus or two extra like 62 beams for safety okay so provide 62 meter beams of length 2.45 meters okay then whaler calculation okay you might ask for this 2.45 how much whaler I should give so okay I what I drawn is here 1500 475 475 see in the requirements what would it is the whaler spacing we assume we calculated 1500 mm so it is it is saying that it should not exceed the center to spending spacing 1500 so what it is I put to 1500 here then remaining a minus 10 placed here okay 470 by 470 but if you the actual if you make this portion very less also 470 by 400 300 also very much because the concrete pressure is this side less downside will be more okay so provide two number of failures so quantity failures to we have ch chosen two this one what uh, two levels of failures so this is for one uh, level failure 21.2 perimeter for two level 42.4 <clears throat> so same number of failures will be 42 point what I consider is I will consider 2.5 meter failures if you have many different types of failures 2.5 1 1.5 whatever will be you have to go through it you have to divide it okay I will get 18 numbers of failures next is same thyroid calculation in this thyroid calculation see I have shown the drawing in the failures these are the failures here uh, timber beam will come then our uh, 300 mm thick wall will come so what I considered is for uh, safety purpose uh, two point like I have to uh, first I know that the thyroid spacing is 1500 so this is and our whaler size is 2.5 so I cannot exceed beyond like 1500 so what I consider is for one 2.5 meter whaler I consider two thyroids like this so two thyroids it will two will come so see two whalers two thyroids but we have two levels so multiply by two so 36 maximum number of thyroids it might be less when you draw in AutoCAD if you place it it might come to 32 30 it depends on your drawing okay but here it is coming 36 is the maximum we always design anything based on safety okay so now you have to consider the length of thyroid you don't know how much length you have to do so it is simple see know your material first if a 300 thick uh, this one you will you are using 18 mm plywood then 200 mm thick timber beam then again 150 mm thick our uh, whalers so add this how 150 218 150 218 plus 300 mm wall again 18 plus 200 plus 150 the length will come as 1036 the 1036 from this part to this part okay but we need some little gap to thread it so what we'll do is we will consider one 200 mm spacing extra we will use 1.2 meter length tie rod of 32 30 so much 36 numbers okay then for this we require plate nuts how plate nuts see for one tie rod we are using two plate nuts so multiplied by two we will get 72 numbers okay if you have any doubt please mention in the comment box if you like the video please share and subscribe okay thank you have a good day